How to grow hydrangeas the lazy way. Hydrangeas are one of the most beautiful and easiest flowering plants to grow in your garden. It is a perennial that will bloom beautifully year after year with little to no effort. Perfect for the lazy gardener. Hydrangeas are so easy to grow that even if you don't have time to water or fertilize your hydrangeas, they will survive. In this video, I will show you how to care for your hydrangeas the lazy way. Hydrangeas watering requirements. Do you need to water your hydrangeas every day? Hydrangeas are drought resistant and don't need to be watered daily. You just need to water your hydrangeas once a week. It's perfect for the lazy gardener. And if you skip a week or two, don't worry, your hydrangea will survive. If there is a dry spell and you didn't water your hydrangea, it will start to look wilted. But don't worry, just water it for a few days in a row and it will bounce back. But do know that if you don't water your hydrangeas weekly, they may produce fewer flowers or no flowers at all. At a minimum, I recommend watering your hydrangeas at least once a week. If you have the big leaf hydrangeas variety, they will do best when watered. I recommend watering your big leaf hydrangeas at least once a week or more if there is a dry spell or drought. If you have newly planted hydrangeas, the once a week watering schedule is not enough. You'll need to water newly planted hydrangeas three times a week for the first year during the growing season until the roots are established. Hydrangeas fertilizer requirements. How often should you fertilize your hydrangeas? Fertilize your hydrangeas sparingly. Once a year is enough. Use a balanced fertilizer once a year on your hydrangeas. That's it, it's so easy. Just fertilize your hydrangea once a year. In fact, it's bad to over fertilize your hydrangeas. If you over fertilize, there is a risk that your hydrangea grows too many leaves but not enough blooms. So when it comes to fertilizing hydrangeas, it's best to be lazy and just do it once a year. Hydrangea pruning requirements. What to do with your hydrangeas after they bloom? Pruning is not essential for your hydrangeas. If you're too lazy to prune your hydrangeas, it will still bloom beautifully next year. However, if you want to tidy up your hydrangeas in the late winter, you can do some light pruning. By light pruning, I mean just getting rid of dead branches and getting rid of dead leaves and flowers and leaving the rest of the hydrangea stems intact. Be careful when you prune your hydrangeas because you don't want to accidentally cut off the flower buds for next year. If unsure, it is better to do less pruning than more. In fact, if you're too lazy to prune your hydrangeas, the dead flowers will add visual interest to your garden during winter and will bloom nicely next summer. Do you need to deadhead hydrangeas? Deadheading hydrangea is not necessary for beautiful blooms. But if you want to tidy up your hydrangea plant, you can deadhead the flowers to get rid of the dead and wilted blooms. Be careful when you deadhead hydrangeas. Don't prune too much. To deadhead hydrangea, simply cut off the dead hydrangea flowers just above the first set of leaves. This will avoid accidentally cutting off any flower buds. Where to plant hydrangeas? As a lazy gardener, Getting the location right from the start is important. If you get the location right, your hydrangea will automatically bloom nicely year after year. Hydrangeas can tolerate partial shade, but make sure it is still getting four to six hours of sunlight a day. In cooler climates, full sun locations are ideal. If your hydrangea gets insufficient sunlight, it will produce fewer flowers. Plant your hydrangea in moist, well-drained soil. Well-drained soil is important so your hydrangea is not sitting in soggy soil or it will develop root rot. Plant in a group of 3 to 5 and the hydrangea flowers will look brilliant all in a row. Go ahead and take credit for your hydrangeas. Choosing hydrangeas. It's important to start off with healthy hydrangeas. When choosing hydrangeas at a garden center, it's best to pick hydrangeas with plump, green, healthy leaves. Don't buy wilted hydrangeas. I also suggest picking hydrangeas with flowers. This way, you can be sure that you're buying hydrangeas that are mature enough to flower since young hydrangeas will not flower the first few years of life. When is the best time to plant hydrangeas? The best time to plant hydrangeas is in the spring or the fall. However, if you plant your hydrangeas in the summer, it's okay too. It will just be more work for you since you'll have to be more vigilant with watering your hydrangea in the summer so it doesn't dry out. Hydrangea bloom time. Hydrangeas start blooming midsummer and will continue into the fall. Hydrangea flower colors. 
Hydrangea flowers can range from blue to pink. If you want blue hydrangea flowers, you need to plant your hydrangea in acidic soil. You can use a soil acidifier to increase your soil's acidity. Alternatively, if you want pink hydrangea flowers, you need to plant your hydrangea in alkaline soil. You can use garden lime to increase your soil's alkalinity. If your soil is at neutral pH, you'll get a mix of purple shaded hydrangea flowers. Hydrangea varieties. Popular hydrangea varieties are the big leaf or mop head hydrangea, hydrangea paniculata, and climbing hydrangeas. The most common classic hydrangea is the big leaf or mop head hydrangea. Are hydrangeas deer resistant? Deer, squirrels, and rabbits will not bother your hydrangeas. At least they didn't bother mine. Plant them freely in your garden with no worries of garden critters. What are common problems of hydrangeas? Hydrangeas are truly perfect for the lazy gardener. It is rarely afflicted with pests and diseases. I've had hydrangeas in my garden for over two decades now, and I've never had any diseases or pest problems. How should you prepare your hydrangeas for winter? With hydrangeas, you can be lazy and not do anything to prepare your hydrangea for winter. If you were to leave your hydrangea as it is over winter, it will still flower beautifully for you the following year. However, if you want to tidy up your hydrangea, you can do some mild pruning. With mild pruning, I mean removing dead hydrangea stems and removing the dead leaves and flowers. That's it. Make sure to leave the remaining hydrangea stems intact. Don't be tempted to over prune your hydrangea. You don't want to accidentally cut off the hydrangea flower buds for next year. When it comes to pruning hydrangeas, it's better to be lazy and not prune your hydrangea. When to harvest your hydrangeas for cut flowers. The best time to cut your hydrangeas flowers is in the early morning or late afternoon. Don't cut newly flowered hydrangea blooms. It is best to cut hydrangea blooms that are a few weeks old. That way, they will last longer as cut flowers. Hydrangeas are great for the lazy gardener. Just water once a week and fertilize once a year. And when it comes to pruning hydrangeas, it's best to be lazy and not prune. Taking care of hydrangeas is so easy. You'll have beautiful flowers like this with little to no effort. Please like and subscribe for more gardening videos like this. Thanks for watching.